Paul helps Lord God and you told us to go and I'll go with you to open your mouth and I'll fill it and take no thought of what you'll say. Yeah. I'll give you the words. I'm trusting him to do that even though I I did read the Bible this morning as it has been my habit for twenty five years I guess and I uh, I enjoy the word. I, I feast on it. Yeah. And it, it just uh, comes alive more every day. And I'm thankful that God has given me a, a little understanding as I've gone along the way. And sometimes things that I'd read years before would just leap off the page at me. And I'll see that in a whole new light. And it's a, a blessing. And I say, thank you, Lord. Well, you know, Moses began writing in, in the beginning God yeah. created yeah. the heavens and the earth and there was darkness upon the face of the deep. Yeah, not that. God spoke and there was light yeah. and all the, the blessings. He, he made the earth and hanged it on nothing. Yeah, Reading in Job this morning. And said, where, where were you, little man, when I formed the earth? Yeah. You know, and uh, and John came on over, uh, at, and he started his writing uh, yeah, in yeah. the beginning with the Word, and yeah. the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Yeah. <laughs> Bless God today. You, you, you can't separate uh, uh, this book uh, uh, from God because uh, it's a part of it. it is right. <laughs> he, uh, yeah. he became uh, a flesh and blood and dwelt among us, uh, and we beheld His glory as that of the only begotten of the Son, uh, uh, full of uh, grace and truth. Uh, and I'm thankful today uh, that God so loved the world uh, that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever, uh, uh, that doesn't leave anybody out. Bless God today. Uh, don't you let Satan uh, rob you uh, of your crown, uh, of your salvation uh, that's free to everybody. Uh, God loved us enough that uh, He sent His Son down here. Uh, he came willingly uh, and laid down His life for the journey uh, that we could have life and have it more abundantly. Uh, and we uh, we oh, cannot right. begin to fathom uh, the agape love of Almighty God yeah. that He unbosomed His Son yeah. and He yeah. uh, was formed yeah. in the womb of little Mary That's and right. willingly became flesh and blood that we can identify with God. Uh, God is so awesome uh, that we can't even uh, begin to understand no. eternity right. or something yeah. that had no beginning and no end. Uh, but I'll declare unto you, Jesus made it plain. He said, I am the way. Yeah. I am the truth. Come unto me, all you right. ends yeah. of the earth, uh, and be you saved. For I am God who saved yeah. me. That's there right. is no other. That's Take right. my yoke upon you yeah. and learn of me. For I am me and lonely and I'll give you rest. Yeah. Oh, I don't get much rest anymore. I didn't yeah. sleep very good last night. But there's a day of rest coming yes, for the is. children of God. Yes, and, and I long for it. Yeah. I get up every morning. Sometimes I'm standing on tiptoes on my back deck talking to God. Yeah. It'd be a good day, Lord, to come back and get us. Yeah. <laughs> and he, come unto me. Yeah. All ye ends of the earth. And that's His his desire to save the world. And you know, when I got saved, I thought I was going to do that. I thought I could go back to the, the, the boys and girls that I went to school with and preach to them and they'd come running into the church. But yeah. it didn't happen that way. I was blessed to do that. I was blessed yeah. to go back and preach to the little churches right next door to the grade school where I, I spent about five years, I guess, or three years it was. Went four years up to the old one room schoolhouse and hit the holler. Yeah. Kind of like a little house on the prairie, if you ever saw that. That's, that's the school. Had a, had a bell tower and had two teachers, one in the big room, one in the little room, they called it. The first through the fourth was in the little room, and fifth through the eighth was in the bigger room. And then they built a consolidated school. Started busting us down to Bevins Grade School, Belfry, Big Creek there, I mean. That's when I learned that the whole world wasn't Baptist. 
<laughs> Growing up as a little boy, that's all I knew. Mommy would get to shouting, and when I was eight or ten years old, I'd get embarrassed to, and, and sneak out the side door when the meeting really got going. They wouldn't even miss me, and I'd go up and play a ball with my cousin Stoney Blackburn who lived with a strong soul of the church. And, oh, and when, uh, uh, when church would start breaking up, as they called it, and you could tell by the sound, yeah. and, and you could tell by the singing, and you still can. Yeah. Uh, bless God today, when the Spirit of God gets on a man or woman, and you can see the difference. Yeah, yeah. Their countenance changes. They're walking their talk. Yes, I ain't they the same man. That's you right. never knew me yeah. when I who was a vile, wretched sinner, and I thank God you didn't, yeah. because I'm ashamed of the life I lived before I got to know the Lord Jesus Christ and pardon the remission of my sin. And I was 26 years old when I fell on my face in my garage and poured out my heart. I was out there working out. I was in pretty good shape. I'd been in the Marines and I was out lifting weights and I was into karate and all that. And I got down to do some push-ups. And the Spirit said to me, why don't you pray while you're down here? <laughs> Whoa, and I, I, I poured out my heart so to God right there, the ground, and I left a puddle of tears on the floor, and I got up a different person. Yeah. I asked God to yeah. tell you, the burden that had put me there, and that burden of sin that I yeah. had filled up over yeah. all those years, of taking God's name in vain, oh, yeah. getting drunk. Getting in fights and trying to prove I was a man. Oh, bless God today. God made a new man out of me. Yeah. He gave me a heart of love. Yeah. I, I can pray for people that persecute me and despitefully use me. Yeah. And I can truly say my worst wish to my worst enemy is to meet him in heaven. <laughs> Glory to God, and that's not natural. Yeah. There was a time I couldn't have said that. But God gave me a love and He loves everybody. Right. Red and yellow, black or white. He doesn't look at this outer shell. That's right. Nope. God took one blood and made all people. Yeah. He looks at the heart, to the hidden man of the heart. I'm thankful for that because this body of mine is decaying and going back to Mother Dust. I'll be 76. Come November, I told a man the other day, he, they were holding the door for me and the wife. And she was kind of slow and I was waiting on her. And I, I said, but the wife's kind of slow. He said, that's all right. Take your time. And I said, your life is short. I said, I'll be 76 in November. It didn't take long to get here. Yeah. He looked at me kind of funny and smiled. But <laughs> I can remember when I was your age, when I was the... The great grandkids' age, yeah. things I did and made an indelible mark in my in my mind. I'll never forget it as long as I'm in my right mind. And I pray God I never lose that. Well, here on earth, uh, we don't know what's going to happen to us. Yeah, we really don't know. That's right. That's right. You know, I remember when Brother Ron Scott was young, strong, yeah. strong as an ox. Before he left here, I could have picked him up and carried him. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he said to me, when we were both young and strong, and there was old, old brother Talmadge Gillum, I don't know if you remember him or not, he was all bent over yeah. and skinny, and his wife showed us a picture of him when he was six foot tall, 200 pounds plus probably, and Ron said, we don't know what kind of shape we're going to get into. It's almost like he was prophesying. But you know, I had a chance to talk to his children while I was in Michigan. Yeah. I'll tell this. I'll be all Come on, preach it. Preach it. That's good. But to I'll tell. declare, you know, Brother Ron, he loved the Lord. He pre we preached all over Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky, and, and now I've been blessed to preach in Tennessee and North Carolina and all the way down into Florida. <laughs> yeah. God's been good to me. Yeah. I'm thankful for that. Brother Ron. He was dying and he'd ask me yeah. if I'd preach his funeral. Yeah. Last night I spent with him. And naturally so, I said, Bro, I don't know if I can or not. Because I've known him since 
He was 10 years old and he'd sneak around behind the couch trying to catch me kissing his sister. <laughs> I called him Dennis the Menace. But you know, he had three children. As far as I know, neither one of them know the Lord today. But yeah. As I was leaving them in Michigan, Jay, the youngest one, he whispered to me, tears well up in his eyes, because he, he just had a baby. He just had not been married long. And he's seeing the responsibility that goes with all that. And he said, pray for us. Yeah. And the Lord already laid it on my heart to talk to him. And I said, Lord, if you'll open the door, you know I'll go through it. Yeah. Well, I took that as an opening when he when he teared up there and hugged me and said, pray for us. Yeah. And I told him, I said, son, uh, 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 one of the last things uh, your dad said to me was, uh, don't give up on my children. Yeah, yeah, I, I said, yeah. I pray for you every day. <laughs> God, he started crying too. Uh, and, and, and you know, uh, that meant the world to me. Yeah. I know, uh, uh, bless God, uh, sometimes God has to break your heart before yeah. He can heal it. Uh, you know, it's just like plowing ground. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes the ground gets hard uh, yeah. and you got to plow it up and break it yeah. before you can plant the seed. Yeah. Uh, bless yeah. God today. Uh, uh, it's good seed. Uh, it's the Word of God. Uh, and I love the Lord and my worst wish to, to anybody get to know the Lord and pardon remission of your sins while you have life and opportunity. Because yeah. you don't know when you're going to be struck down. I, I've known over the 30 year period I worked for Ford many young men and women would say goodbye to them on Friday see you Monday morning they wouldn't show up I'd have to cover their job and get word later on so and so OD'd yeah you know, they thought they I actually wrote a poem about that one young man. It happened over Thanksgiving weekend, and I said, Some to God their thanks were given, others were getting high, man, really living. That's about all I can remember of it, but think about that. He took that dope or that shot or whatever it was to get high. And he got so high, he left this world. But I, I truly doubt if he was ready to meet the Lord. And we will be judged either here or there. That's right. I'm glad I was judged worthy of eternal life That's right. here in this life. That's right. Because you if you pray, wait yeah. till it's too late, then it's eternally too late. It'll be joy standing in front of me. Amen. Ah, here come you blessed of my Father. <laughs> yeah. In her yeah. prepared for you from the foundation of the world. How sad it's going to be to those who are going That's to hear right. Depart from, from me, me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you in part of remission of sin. He knows you That's because right. He made you. But he never, he never felt the joy of you coming right. back to him. Never felt that burden. And believe right me, there. it's just like a child coming home. And, and you know, sometimes I was only gone a week, but it was good to see you. And give you a little kiss on the cheek, and and you know, but God is so much greater than that, and His love is so much more yes. than we yeah. can ever imagine. That God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. What about a God like that? Yeah, I couldn't do that. Yeah, thank you. God did. Because he loves us enough, he don't. He doesn't want us to be duped by Satan and be damned eternally. And that's, that's right. what's going to happen to a lot of people. Right. And damned just means condemned to hell. It's, if you use it in that context, it's not cursing. So. Right. God bless you. Come on, I love. You.